is that the battle of life does not discriminate. It won't say you are a white person, a black person, your father is a pastor, your mother is a pastor, it doesn't discriminate. It does not recognize races. Whether you are blue or black or white or whatever it's your color, the battle of life does not discriminate. 16. In the battle of life has no respect for your person or your opinion. It doesn't respect for anything you say you have about your opinion or your person. No. 17. The battle of life can result in untimely death. It can result in untimely death. It is a wrong proverb to say that, well, if God does not kill somebody, nobody can kill the person. No, the devil can kill. The devil can kill a person if you allow him to do so. The Lord may not allow him, but if you allow him to do so, he will do so. You, everyone did not grant the allowance, but you say, come, 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 come. God told the devil, so you can punish Job. So, but don't touch his life. Meaning that he has the power to kill, to steal, and to destroy. This is why I'm going to pray this very serious prayers. Which requires a tenfold amen. Any arrow of untimely death fired against anyone here or any member of anyone's family. Let that arrow backfire in the name of Jesus. So it can result in untimely death. Meaning that most people who die untimely died because they were killed. There is a difference between dying and being killed. Two different things. Most of the people in Moshari were killed. Either physically or spiritually. 18. The battle of life does not issue proud warnings. I won't tell you I'm coming to this. I'm coming to this. No, it doesn't issue anybody any warning. 19. And this is very tragic. The battle of life can afflict a person from the cradle to the grave. We will start fighting the person from the womb and fight the person till the person dies. I'm praying that every from cradle to grave battle shall expire in the name of Jesus. Twenty, the battle of life can come upon all ages. All ages. The day they brought a six-year-old girl, and the mother said, she's diabetic. Six years old? Yes. The battle has started at six. So the battle of life comes upon all ages. Twenty-one. 
the battle of life can cause insanity. Insanity. The Bible says oppression make it a wise man mad. It make it a wise man mad. 22. The battle of life has no response for geographical locations. No respect. If, for example, you are in Nigeria now, where practically every corner somebody is calling fire, somebody is praying, there is a church here, there is a church here, you stay in this environment and you do not catch the fire. You stay in this environment of fire, you didn't get on fire for Christ. And then you travel abroad. You go to countries which is spiritually cool. That place you are going becomes a spiritual amplifier. It will amplify the problem you brought from home that you did not kill. And if you say, oh, yeah, oh, witches are pursuing me in one country and you run to another country, immediately you, are, you get at the airport, they say, welcome, you are here. So welcome, you are here. You are welcome here. This is a very serious matter. No, there is one man who does not like mountain of fire at all. And he used to say, what is this? Why are they praying like this? Why are they praying like this? But something happened that changed him forever. Changed him forever. His wife had a baby in one country in Europe. The mother-in-law left Nigeria to go and help them look after the baby. So the mother-in-law got there before him. So he too went to look at the baby to greet to greet a new member, a new member of his family and his wife. This is not Nigeria. So he got there in the morning, then in the evening. A white man came to press the bell of their house. He was the one that came out. And the man told him, there is a witch that just arrived from Nigeria that is living here. Tell that witch that in this country we don't come late to witchcraft meeting. That she, she, she has to be coming promptly. That, that our meeting are on schedule. She comes late, the meeting will have closed. Bye bye. The man was dumbstruck. Was shocked. What is he going to do now? Now is afraid to confront the mother in law. He's afraid to tell the wife. Then he was so worried because he's a woman bathing the baby. <laughs> This man who does not like Martin of Fire at all. I don't know how he got my number. He called me and he explained to me what was going on. So I decided to pull his leg. He said, eh, is that so? Hey, sorry. What, what are we going to do now? I said, uh, Dr. Luke, you are laughing at me. So, where are you? Mention the country. So, there is mountain of fire there. Go there. Go and buy a copy of prayer in. Open to the page where it says aggressive prayer of the psalmist. 
Start aggressive VG. Quickly run there. And bought the book and started night VG prayers. Maybe it's even here now. Sorry. If he prays now, it's a very serious matter. Didn't like the place before. Didn't like Mountain of Fire. So the paths of, of darkness and battles of life have no respect for your geographical location. A lot of Nigerians are going abroad now. As, as soon as they check in at the airport, the battle check inside the box again. And if they are not prayerful there, the place becomes an amplifier, it makes the problem bigger. You that are in Nigeria, you are battling with lust of the heart. They now take you, you now enter into a country where somebody is sleeping with a woman on the street. You are finished. Because you, you, you that you, are, you cannot even cope here. How will, will you cope? 23. The battle of life is a stark illiterate. Stark illiterate. It doesn't matter whether you go to school, you don't go to school. Stark illiterate. And this is a very serious matter. 24. The battle of life has no respect for your brain power. No respect for your brain power. I had a friend who was teaching a university lecturer. I was teaching in the university. In the full glare of the students, he fell down in the lecture room and began to convulse. The students gathered around him. And you know, and you know students very funny people. Some poured water on him. Some spat on him. Some went and brought gutter water and poured it on him. And somebody said, no, no, no. no. Get a woman to urinate on his head. Get a woman. And one of the students, ladies, Urinated on him. Uh, my friend said, when he woke up and looked, I saw the students surrounding him. But he was very embarrassed. I'm praying for somebody here. I prayed the prayer before we, before we started. <laughs> Any battle assigned to embarrass your destiny. Shall die violently in the name of Jesus. A for the man. I was sharing about my lecturer friend. Having fainted and convulsed in front of the class, a lecturer in the university. And after medical intervention, there is no solution. The parents took him to the native doctor. The native doctor said, Well, um, if we want this problem to be solved, you need to carry a she goat in your back. Daylight. And walk around the village market seven times. Ah. Ah. So, Baba. Baba. Sorry. I'm a, I'm a lecturer. 
Man, sir, you are a lecturer? This is not in the same lecture. You, you are a lecturer, you fell down in this place? See, is there any other thing you can do? Okay, why well, you have to buy seven coconuts? And look for seven crossroads. And break each one on that crossroad. You will remove the skin of the coconut in the midnight there. And break it there. Say, ah. Night. Breaking coconut. Say, Baba, can't I remove the skin? And just go there and smash it down those seven places across the road. I said, No. It is there you will remove the skin. Then if something dangerous happens to me, I said, Well, that's the risk you take to get your healing. It was at that level, he ran to mountain of fire. It was on this mountain God delivered that blood. I'm praying for somebody here today. Any satanic recommendation that has put you in any trouble now, let the consequences be cancelled in the name of Jesus. Let your heaven rule and return. The battle of life becomes dangerous when there are unfriendly friends. Unfriendly friends. Look at the book of Luke. 2116. Let's see what is said there. These are the words of Jesus. Jesus made it clear that there will be unfriendly friends. In Luke chapter 21, verse 16, and ye shall be betrayed both by parents and brethren and kinfolks and friends and friends you shall be betrayed by parents, brethren, kinfolks and friends and some of you they shall cause to be put to death in Psalm 55 verse 21 Psalm 55 verse 21 the words of his mouth were smoother than butter but war was in his heart. The words were very nice, smooth. But the person speaking like that, war was in his heart. His words were softer than oil. Yet were they drawn sword. This is unfriendly friend. He's speaking nicely. But it's a lie. It's a war in that heart against you. The words were softer than oil. Sounds encouraging and lovely. But the Bible says inside they are drawn their sword. They really, they really don't care whether you fall down and die. Unfriendly friends. The same Psalm 41. Verse 9. I'm establishing this in scripture. 
So you know why it is very dangerous. Look at Psalm 41 verse 9. Yeah. My home familiar friend in whom I trusted which did eat of my bread and lifted up his heel against me. This is a serious matter. Some people don't die because of the arrow that has entered their chest. They die when they saw the person who threw the arrow. And they were shocked. In life, there will be people who for no reason at all will simply not like you. They talk when in your presence, when you leave, they talk bad, bad, bad about you. In every life, a little bit of rain falls. The rain of tribulation falls on all lives. There is no trouble-free life. But do you believe that there are people who rejoice when they see you shedding tears? Unfortunately, we often become entangled in avoidable situations. Because sometimes we don't vet our friends. We must get to a level where we now allow Father God to vet our friends for us. The more traffic you find you have going in and out of your life, the more you expose yourself to warfare. Good morning, sir. Good morning, man. How are you? Fine. How is your family? Fine. How are the children? Ha! One of them is in the United Kingdom. Another one is in Kutono. Another one has just gotten the scholarship. One. Who has you all these questions? So you just sold your secret to the enemy. An unfriendly friend is someone who digs a pit for you to fall in. An unfriendly friend is somebody who, who laughs at you but spreads gossips and accusation about you. An unfriendly friend is someone who encourages others to dislike you. An unfriendly friend is somebody who is envious against you. An unfriendly friend is someone who does not really wish you well but pretends otherwise. The Chinese have a proverb. Say God, <laughs> say God, May your Lord. Uh, show me my enemies. And I will know that they are my enemies. Because they have announced themselves. That they are enemies. So since they are enemies, I know they are enemies. But show me better those that are friends but are enemies. So an unfriendly friend will shed crocodile tears. Will sympathize with you in public. But behind your back, say, serves him right. Yes. Serves him right. Good. good for her. Good for him. Good for her. Good for him. An unfriendly friend circulates your name for evil. So you can see why the battle of life becomes dangerous when there are unfriendly friends. 
had unfriendly friend plots against you at night and laughs with you in the morning. They smile a lot and act nice to you. They are talking bad behind you and gossiping. They appear when they need you and disappear when you need them most. Very selfish and self-centered. An unfriendly friend. Your success threatens them. They get upset when something good is happening to you. And they are highly covetous. Unfriendly friends are not consistent. You cannot depend on rely on them. They are not trustworthy. They rejoice when something bad happens to you. Your pain gives them joy. Sometimes your problem is not your problem. Your problem is actually who you told the problem. So, so this problem has started. Thank you for telling me. Then they go and put more fire into it. Unfriendly friends are pathological ingrates. No matter what sacrifices you have offered in the past, they are traitors because they prefer to be above you always. They are satanic broadcasters to expose your weaknesses and failures. A friendly friend will find faults with you, but will not be bold enough to say it straight to your face. They walk hand in hand with you to locate your secrets and your strategies to expose you and deliver you to the enemy. This is why the battle of life becomes dangerous while they are unfriendly friends in it. There are three prayers we used to pray mountain of fire here. Many people don't understand them. I'm going to pray those three prayers now. Again, let your volcanic men be tenfold. I'm praying. Any power that hates to see you laugh. Any power that is a joy killer. A testimony about her. No matter how long they have traveled in your life, they must die in the name of Jesus. Unfriendly friends may come against a person as a result of satanic attack. The enemy actually sent them. They are working for their master. Unfriendly friends may come against you because you are doing well and they are coming against you out of envy coming to you out of envy a friendly friend may come against you because they have the spirit of competition they see you as a competitor unfriendly friend may come against you if you do not vet them very well and they are suffering from inferiority complex. And once they are around you, they expose you to danger, they take advantage of you, they expose your secret, and they put you in danger zone. This is one thing we need to pray against here today. Especially on friendly friends despised from the bottom of hell against people. This is where we're stopping tonight. Bow down your heads where you are. 
Well, you see, if you are here tonight, and you are not born again, you've not yet surrendered your life to Jesus. Wherever you are, why all eyes are closed at this first manna water service of the year? Find a way quickly to the altar here to surrender your life to Jesus, so that He will appear at your battlefront and fight your battles for you. Jesus is calling you. Let's appear at the altar. Bow down your heads. Say what I'm going to say after me. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus, I come before you now. Lord Jesus, come into my life. Take control of my life. As from today, I say bye bye to the devil. I enter into the kingdom of light. In Jesus' name. Amen. I'm going to pray with you now. Father, I thank you for your children here. We have surrendered our lives to Jesus today. Father, keep them standing by your power. Lay your hands upon their lives. In Jesus' name. Amen. As we go into this anti battle prayers. It is not a day to negotiate. If you are in this meeting tonight, I used to have dreams of sitting for exams. Find a way to the altar as we pray this first prayer. Dream you are taking exams, taking exams, taking exams. Find a way to this altar now. Everybody shout this loud and clear. Every battle against my next level. In the name of Jesus. Then we pray. Sisters, shout this loud and clear after me. Say, Oh God, arise. Disgrace the laughter of my enemies. Can I hear the sisters shouting it? Let the brothers roar like thunder as they say. Everybody together now. Something is happening here. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Say, power, sir. Arrogantly challenging my prayers. You are alive. In the name of Jesus. Powers arrogantly challenging my prayers. In Jesus' name we pray. This prayer will bring 24 hour breakthroughs to so many people. Say, strange powers. Chasing away my miracles expire in the name of Jesus.
Thank you, Jesus. See what is going on. Makapota la kaya boshenderaba. Ribo soponde kaya boshenderaba. Something is happening down there. In Jesus' name we pray. This is another 24 hour miracle prayer. Pass! Stealing from me in the dream. Jesus. Open your mouth, open your mouth, open your mouth. Makate sete la kayaba. In Jesus' name we pray. Let your voice be loud as you shout this command. Where is the altar of my problems? Shout that loud. Hear the word of the Lord. Scatter. In the name of Jesus. Scatter the altar. Then we pray. Lay your right hand upon your head now. Utter this aggressive command. Any spirit of the grave, shout it. Shout it with confidence. In my body. Yes, 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 yes. Come out. Come out. Jesus, let me pray. Silence now. Please don't say anything. Silence now. Father, Baba, as many people as are in this meeting, and the enemy has introduced the spirit of stagnation. Makatenda Liliada Cassipi. Right there where they are. Let the hand of heaven come upon such people. And let that hand begin to circulate from the top of the head to the sole of the feet. From the top of the head to the sole of the feet. From the top of the head to the sole of the feet. From the top of the head to the sole of the feet. Every spirit that makes your help pass to disappear. 
Whatever that spirit is hidden in your body. Every spirit that is demonically delaying your miracles. Every spirit of hidden and clever devourers. At the count of seven. You cannot stay where you are hiding. For the strangers are fed away. And they shall be afraid out of their close places. You must depart. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. You cannot hide. You cannot hide. You the spirit from the waters. Hear the word of the Lord. The strangers shall fade away. They shall be afraid out of their close places. Remove your bangle from the wrist. Remove your chain from my neck. Remove your beads from their waist. That's the power of God coming upon that person. Yes. The spirit that makes good things to appear in your dream. But in the physical, they refuse to manifest. The power of God is coming upon you. That's the power. That's the fire. That's the power. That's the power. Yes. Now with a loud voice. Say, Oh God, arise. And declare war. Against those that have declared war against me. This year. In the name of Jesus. Declare war against those who have declared war against me. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Say thank you, Jesus. Shout thank you, Jesus. Bring out your mana water now. And let your amen roar like fire and like thunder. Father, in the name of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus. We lift our mana water unto you. Let your fire enter into this water. In the name of Jesus, let your fire enter into this water. In the name of Jesus, let your fire, Lord, enter into this water. In the name of Jesus, let your angels of fire and power begin to touch this water now in the name of Jesus with the fire upon this water let every yoke of the enemy be destroyed in the name of Jesus I sanctify consecrate and bless this water the name of the Father, the Son and the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus 
Makatela kaya boshenderaba. Ribo sopoli katenda kaya boshenta. Let every water presented here carry the fire of God. Carry the fire. 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 In the name of Jesus. If your water becomes hot, don't drop it. Just keep holding it there. Makate sate la kaya bo shenderaba. Ribo seponda. The kind of fire that will destroy. Plantation of darkness. That will destroy. Yoke of the enemy. That will destroy. Every infirmity. Enter into this water in the name of Jesus. Enter. 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 Fire. 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 Enter into the water. In the name of Jesus. When this water confronts any infirmity, confronts bad luck, confronts profitlessness, let there be a reversal in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. The Lord blesses you from Zion. Makes his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. And it shall be well with you. Father, all the prayer requests are answer them by fire. Lay your hands upon this request. Let all the writers become testifiers. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Let us share the grace in fellowship. Dwell in the house of God for Seven glorious hallelujah. Let's go. Amen.